In this video, we take a look at linkers and loaders and the use of libraries. So first of all, what exactly are libraries? Well, they're ready compiled and tested programs that can be run when needed. They're typically grouped together in what's known as software libraries. Most programming languages have extensive built-in libraries. So, for example, shown here on the screen is the Maths Library from Python, and it provides a set of common solutions to everyday problems encountered by programmers who are dealing with numbers. Someone programming in the Windows operating system, for example, can make use of the Windows Dynamic Link Libraries, or DOLs. These libraries contain subroutines written to carry out many common tasks on the Windows operating system. For example, save as, where the user needs to save their work as a file. All the program would need to do is call the appropriate dynamic link library subroutine with the correct parameters and the save as dialog box will simply appear in their program. So there are obviously lots of benefits to using libraries. Firstly, they're quick and easy to use and hook into your own program. They are obviously pre-tested, so you can be relatively sure they're already free from errors. They're pre-compiled, so they typically are optimised to run quickly. There are a few drawbacks from using library routines. Adding your own additional functionality or making specific tweaks to a library subroutine can be difficult or indeed impossible. Sometimes you are what is known as black boxed from the actual implementation. So you have no idea how efficient the actual library routine is. You have to trust that developers will continue to maintain the library and have tested it completely. So now we've discussed libraries, let's look at what linkers and loaders are. The linker is responsible for putting the appropriate machine addresses in all the external call and return instructions, so all modules and any external library routines are all linked together correctly in your finished code. It's therefore responsible for linking any separate compiled subroutines into your object code. The linker is able to use a couple of methods to pull in the various libraries it might need. There's static linking. So this is where all the required code from the libraries is included directly in your finished machine code. Of course, this can result in large executable program files. Or we could use dynamic linking. This is where compiled versions of the required libraries are stored on the host computer. The operating system links the required code from the libraries as your program is running. Now, of course, this is going to cut down on the size of the compiled machine code. But if these dynamic libraries change or don't exist on the host computer, the program may stop working because it tries to call a subroutine in the wrong way. The loader is the part of the operating system that loads the executable program file, so that's the machine code, into memory ready to be run. When using dynamic linking, it will also be responsible for loading the required libraries into memory. So having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. What is the purpose of a linker and loader? And what are the advantages of function libraries for a programmer? 